So this is the living room, the yeah, the front room so far. Here's our sofa looking all wrapped up. So now we're in the back room. This is pretty much the same as before. We've got a radiator in here. Um, and the light. Oh yeah. We got electric. Yeah, baby. Again, loads needs to be done. So today we're going to knock down this kitchen extension, ready for our kitchen extension, because ours is going to go straight through to here. So we're just getting rid of these um, kitchen units now. And then we've got people, friends and things coming to help us to knock it down. And then because we're not having the extension today, we're going to get this side door here popped onto here because obviously the extension's not being built right now but it's going to start in a couple of weeks so that's what we're doing today. So now we've cleared out the kitchen. Damien's on the roof taking off the tiles and then you can see they're all smashed down here and we're just taking them to the skip and then we're going to start taking the kitchen down. We have the front room. So at the moment, this is kind of a dumping room because you can see we've just got stuff over here. Um, but the walls have been boarded and these are going to be plastered very soon. This is where we originally had the conservatory, but we've actually knocked through. So there's a conservatory here. We've knocked that down and there was an extension over here. We've knocked that down and we've built our own extension round and yeah so this is the space and the bifolding doors are going to go here which are going to be fitted later very excited about window will be put in fabulous very excited So this is the front room now. Um, a lot has a lot of progress has been made, but still there's a lot to be done in here. It's kind of it's a bit of a blank canvas at the moment. Obviously we've got white floor and white walls, and we do intend to keep the walls white. But I think we're gonna go for a real black and white theme on the walls. We've got all these frames here, and we're just hoping to <laughs> we're just hoping to get some prints in these of like different sizes, and we really want a wall full of different prints. But hopefully all black and white prints and then we're on the lookout for a big clock to put on this wall which will be kind of I guess the main feature of the room but we're just finding like the right one at the moment and then we picked this up the other day actually this is so simple from Ikea and it's just going to be our lampshade but we just need to sort out the fitting and stuff before we put that in so that's quite simple so I guess it's kind of it's half quite minimal with this old sort of country vibe then we've got like these cushions which if you were to watch my homeware haul you would have seen which i love and they're just quite a bit quirky and we also hope to get a rug down in here because the white floor is so hard to maintain and keep clean that is obviously something that you have to take into account if you do get a white floor and obviously we've got the log burner here so it'd be good to get like a rug or something so we are keeping an eye out for that as well so it, it's kind of a blank canvas at the moment and we are going to add a few things. I've got my, you know, drum table over here that I also featured in my homeware haul I got from HomeSense. Absolutely love this. So we've got gold accents like this lampshade. We actually got this the other day from Ikea. I can just see myself now. Fire on, sat reading a book. <laughs> I'm very regal. Um, yeah, so we've got that. And we've got this cushion here at the moment, but 
that I don't this is really old, I don't even know where that's at, so that's gonna go. But I feel like maybe I'll get like a more funky one to go on this chair that kind of matches these a bit more. And the door still needs painting, as you can see, it's you know like got a base coat on and the frame. And I'd also maybe like to get something here, but I'm not sure. Don't want it to be too much, but because this wall is gonna be like the frame wall. And then I've got these bits that I mentioned in my video the other day, my homeware haul. So I've got this, still not got anything inside of it. And the top, I've also got this decanter, which I need to fill with some <laughs> whiskey or something. And we actually got this upcycled unit. It's, I think it's actually what you keep like records in. And uh, oh, by the way, don't mind my slippers, I wear these in the house. <laughs> this is what we got off eBay at the moment, it's just got a lot of crap inside, but we're going to kind of use this as some sort of drinks cabinet eventually. So that is the front room. So I'll take you through to the main living room now. And as you can see in the hallway here, it's still a work in progress very much. It's finally getting plastered, so we'll have that done soon. But I'll show you through here. Come on, come on. This is the kitchen and I absolutely love our kitchen, partly because we went a good six months without a kitchen and that was a real struggle. We literally had like a tap coming out of the wall with a bucket and that was our sink. But anyway, now we have a kitchen, I love it. I really love to cook in this space. As you can see, it's still very much, it's still very much a work in progress. Like we don't have any tiles here yet, but we're hoping to kind of go for some sort of metal, like worn, splash back but we're still kind of deciding on that one and as you can see we've got like these fittings that still need the lights putting in like we've got the lights but we just haven't fitted them yet and the kitchen itself it couldn't be more perfect to what we had in mind i wanted a blue kitchen for so so long and we managed to find a place that did the actual cupboards and you could get them custom made to which i call you like so we went for a farrow ball paint and the shade was stiff key blue and it is like the perfect blue that we wanted so really happy with that and then we got the worktop separate which is a quartz which i absolutely love and the handles we got online and they're like a brass so yeah really pleased with how it's looking so far and this is kind of I always feel like the kitchen is like the hub it's like the like I love to cook here I love to hang out here like hang out you know what I mean like it's such a good space I'm on this breakfast bar I'll spend a lot of time working here on the day like I'll have my MacBook here and I'll set up office um so yeah I'm really loving this area and I'm Kind of excited to see it like evolve as well. We have some shelves and things. I've got a couple of cut books like this, which I've never once looked at. Um, I've got the toaster. The toaster, in fact, we only bought our toaster and kettle recently. And you know, when you're in the shop, there's like so many options. I can tell you the only reason we bought this is because it has a crumpet button. So yeah, we purely bought it for the novelty and we don't even really eat crumpets. A little secret for you there. <laughs> We've got our Nutribullet. Uh, pestle and mortar for grinding those herbs and just the usual, you know, nice thingies. I kind of like to keep the sides kind of clear and I feel like when I've got shelves and stuff, it'll be better for organisation. Got a wine rack here, always important to keep that stocked up. And then we've got our drinks fridge. And yeah, I'll take you through to the main bit over here. This is my favourite part and I guess the main reason is because of the sofa. I absolutely love it. I had it in my head that I wanted a pink sofa and you only get what you want and you're like, yes. And I actually got this on, on Debenhams. I hunted far and wide. I wanted a pink sofa, but I also wanted it to be practical and comfy. And then I found that Debenhams, they do, like you can get different styles, but in custom colors and fabrics and things. So then I found this and it was a little bit scary because when I ordered this, I hadn't physically seen this sofa. I'd seen what the fabric looked like in the shop on a different style, but I hadn't seen this style in this colour. Um, so we just kind of went for it and, and I couldn't be happy with it. It's so, so comfy, like this is my spot. Damien likes to say this is his spot, but let's, this is, let's be real, this is my spot. I love it in this little corner. And I also really wanted a green wall because Green is quite popular at the moment, but I just love the shade that we went for because it's kind of cosy. And we were a little bit scared to go for this at first because as you will have seen on the past clips and even now, it is quite a dark space and we were worried that this would make it too dark. But I feel like with the rest of the walls being white and we've got 
the roof lights in the extension, it lets in enough light and it makes the room and the space quite cosy. Like even on a day like today, it's quite, quite dull outside, but it's not too dull in here. Um, then I've got this lamp, which I've had for ages. I think I purchased this over a year ago, so we have no space to put it in, but it's um, a proper cheesy pineapple lamp. And it's got this kind of greeny colored shade. It's a bit yellowy green and it just adds a nice little ambiance in the corner. So I've gone for these cushions here. You would have seen these in my homeware haul. These ones are from Made, and I got these velvet ones from a garden centre and they tie in perfectly with the colours. And also I've got this guitar over here, which uh, don't tell anyone, but I can't play. But <laughs> this is Damien's guitar and he's had this for years. And I thought this would go perfectly in here because obviously it matches the wall. Just dropping a pick on the floor there. And um, yeah, as you can see, the door's still not painted yet. But everything's kind of like a work in progress, so we're getting there. We've got our TV, we've got our TV stand here that we got from IKEA. Again, just wanted to keep this, wanted to keep this space kind of really simple because I don't like having many distractions when you're watching TV. So I wanted that wall to just be kind of plain. And we are eventually going to paint this white. And I'm hoping to get a really nice piece of artwork on this wall because I feel like it's just kind of missing something there and I feel like that would be nice. Maybe like a nice pollock or something. Just kidding. If only someone would give me a priceless piece of artwork. Anyway, and over here we've got the radiator but I'm hoping to get a radiator cover of some sort. And yeah, and I've got my plants and that's it. I feel like there's not much else to say about this space. I am gonna keep it quite simple anyway. And then in this space here, which is the rest of the extension, which if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see I do a lot of outfit shots here because the light from the doors is really good. And um, you get the full light. By the way, just ignore the crap in the corner. Um, here's gonna be our dining space. We don't have a dining table yet. So I plan to get a bench. And Damien wants to make a table, of course he does, just being extra like that. I would just happily buy one online, but if he wants to make one, then you can make one. So I want a quite a long one, and I always love a dining table to be a real social hub, like, so I'm looking forward to that. Um, and then in here we've just got lights that we haven't put up yet, that's why the box is there. And the garden is still very much work in progress, that's not done yet. So that's it, that, that, is, that is the downstairs. Um, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you in my next one. Thanks for watching, bye.